Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here and thanks for stopping by. So as you can see, we're left with the dirty work from Badlands Off-Road Park and that's cleaning Argo up. Um, it was a good time yesterday. We went out with the Evansville Wheelers, had a great time at Badlands Off-Road Park checking it out. There's a lot of cool stuff to do there. There were some really cool rigs there and some really good company. So why don't you go ahead and check out the footage while I take care of this mess. So today we are out at Badlands Off-Road Park in Attica, Indiana. I'm out here with a bunch of people that are local to me, a lot of Jeeps. So we're out here having a good time. Um, I hope you enjoy today's footage. Uh, we're going to do as much as we can, hit as many trails as we can, and have as much fun as we can. So we'll see you later. Everything was going really good here, but then Rick started to come up the hill and got a little bit bogged. Now we tried to pull him backwards, but he started to actually slide off the hill sideways, so we had to stop and do this recovery from the top. If you ever come here, just know that this can happen to you too. This stuff is really deep and can really get you sunk down pretty quick. Yeah, big time. He's straight now. You need to fill these ruts because you're just going to pop down into them and stop yourself.
So as you can see so far, this stuff is really, really sandy. It's almost like the consistency of cat litter. So it's really easy if you're coming up something off camber to slide off backwards. So a couple recoveries so far, but everything's going pretty good. So far, my impression of Badlands is it's actually pretty awesome. You can get yourself in some trouble here. There's a lot of vehicles. Everybody's required to have an orange flag on top of their vehicles just to make sure they're visible. Um, everybody does pretty good to observe right away. So it's really nice. But there's a ton of side-by-sides, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, stuff like that out here. Um, a lot of this stuff is a little bit of child's play for a Jeep. There, there is deep sand, so you do tend to lose traction. When you lose momentum, you'll actually start to dig down. But as long as you turn your traction control off and it doesn't take away power from you, you usually do kind of okay. So it's been a pretty good trip so far. We've only been on the trails for a couple hours. We're gonna stay on the trails now and see if there's anything more that we can get into. This climb here was one of the more technical parts in the sand dune side of the park. Now everybody else made it up this fine, but they also have lifts, uh, 35 inch tires are better, and most of them have their sway bars disconnected. Whereas I'm completely stock, my sway bars are connected, and I only have 32 inch tires. Now on my first attempt, I actually ended up knocking a bolt that I'd found earlier in the day out of my tire and had to go back down and plug it. This is my second attempt, and while I made it up, I still struggled a little bit, and this is when I came to the conclusion that Argo just has to get a lift and bigger tires before we hit our next badge of honor run in Arkansas. So look forward to that coming up really soon. So the obstacle on this trail is primarily made of large chunks of concrete that have been cast off a hill. Now this hill, the substrate, is actually very sandy and dry today. So you do have traction when you hit the concrete, but as soon as you come off, you tend to slide a little bit. Argo did okay here, but this was a little bit of a hair-raising moment for me. I realized the actual capabilities of my Jeep, though I can hang with some of the bigger ones. Man, was this rough. guys so so far this has been a wonderful trip uh, in front of the park you have more like sand dunes and stuff like that real fun to play on not very challenging got a lot of ATVs got a lot of dirt bikes back there it's pretty awesome but when you come through the rock quarry section of the park then you start getting into some more challenging technical terrain um, you have rock ledges you have deep water you have twisty turnies you have very tight squeezes through some of these trees so some of these trails can get really technical. It's actually a real treat to run through here. I've had a great time so far and I'm definitely putting this place on the list to come back.
talking about a Mercury Mountaineer. Come left so I don't run it over. Now the trestle, go to the left, Kip. guys well as you can see i finally got argo all cleaned up um the day is wearing on so i got a bunch of other stuff to do thank you so much for stopping by um i hope you like the footage today we got a lot of good stuff coming up actually in the next video we're going to be installing our dual battery kit and we're going to be installing a few more accessories and then we're going to get on to some more wheeling videos and some more overlanding so thanks so much for stopping by please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time